definitely should have used a smaller bra. Hush. Hello, so for today's video I'm going to be doing this sort of blue glittery cut creasey kind of thing. Oh, I don't really know what it is. I know it's a cut crease, that's all I know and it's going to be blue. So, <laughs> I've already done my eyebrows because it's boring no one wants to see it. So I'm going to move on to eyeshadow base. So this is from NARS and this is the Pro... Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I'm actually just going to take a dot over the lid. This is hella old. I probably shouldn't be using this. Um, but I need something. Because I feel like my eyelids are really oily. And um, I just need something different. So I'm going back to this one. But obviously now they've come a long way. They've got all these like coloured ones and stuff now. I'm going to take the KVD, so this is the Alchemist Holographic Palette. I have stated before loads of times, basically Kat Von D no longer owns Kat Von D anymore. So she doesn't earn money, she doesn't earn nothing off of the brand. So that's why I'm going back to using it, because I stopped. Um, just because if you know, you know. But yeah, I'm going to start obviously using it again. I'm pretty sure that this palette is still available. If not, I'm literally taking the blue highlighter side. Which is, good God, this one up here. And it's basically a blue highlighter. You can get these absolutely anywhere now. And I'm going to take that on a Spectrum A13. Okay, so I've just stuck a bit of tape down just so I can sort of get a guide as to where I want to stop and also where I'm going to cut the crease and stuff. Obviously, you can skip tape if you want to. So I'm going to take the uh, Beauty Bay. So this is the N. EYN Bright Palette, so it's a 42 eyeshadow palette. And we're going to start off by taking a little bit of a daydream at first, which is this lovely blue down here. And I'm going to take that on a crown brush C441. I'm just going to put that through the crease. I'm just going to further blend that out with a crown brush. So this is a C429. So then we're going to move over and take Paradise, which is this matte shade here. And I'm going to take that on a blush dry brush. So unfortunately she had to close down her website. But you can get obviously these brushes anywhere. Um, I think she's still running if you wanted to go and have a look. Um, but obviously it's like closing down and stuff. But I do recommend the brushes. They are beautiful. I have a very similar brush in the Spectrum collection. I think it's like the A07. And we're just going to take that directly through the socket. Further blend that out again with the crown brush. So now we're going to go ahead and cut the crease. But first of all, I'm just going to remove some of the product because I want... We're going to go and glitter, but I want like the glitter to stay in the centre. So I want the... Oh product that we're about to use to stay crystal clear <laughs> it's not going to be crystal clear it's going to be like white but yeah so I'm just going to do that so I'm going to take a little cotton bud and the Garnier Micellar water let's go ahead and take some of that off you could go ahead and totally just like cut the crease like this but unfortunately I don't really know where my crease sits um just because my eye shape's funny even though I've done loads of cut creases, I still could not tell you. So now we've taken the majority of that way. I'm going to go into the Anastasia primer. Um, honestly, you probably don't need the NARS one and then this one. It's just, I'm using this. It's literally a little ditty. I got it with my Amrezy palette. Um, just because I like the colour of this and how it um, like sort of cuts the crease and how it... Like, it's almost like a concealer. It's just you can use a concealer, but because, like I said, my eyelids are so oily that as soon as I put like a concealer down, it just and I set I can see it and it just it's almost like it's like it creases because obviously the way my eyes fold as well. Um, yeah, it's just it's not cute, so that's why I have to take this. I'm gonna buy the little Diddy one, not as small as this, obviously, it's like a little bit bigger. Um, because I mean this has lasted me a little while, a long while even, and um, yeah I can't complain. So I'm just going to take that on a Peaches and Cream PC51 brush, I just put it down, 
Look up. Oh, good God. And where this line sits is where we're going to cut our crease to. So obviously I'm going to lose a lot of the colour, but we're going to go ahead and add more anyway. I'm going to get to like the outer corner. If you can see it, it's like almost like it's flicked like a wing. So that's how I do that bit. So with this eye, I actually don't like how high I've taken it up. I feel like it's cut too much. So I'm going to take it a bit lower. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add the blue back into that. And it'll map like this out a bit here. Um, yeah, it was just too much. I even though the technique works when you put it down and look up, sometimes I can. It's like I look up too much and it takes it too high. Um, so I have to be super careful with how I do that. But yeah, we're just going to obviously go... That Back in after I will show you I'm just gonna finish uh, cutting the crease on this eye first so obviously as you can tell like this is a lot lower I just feel like it looks better this is far too <coughs> excuse me sorry this is far too high so we're gonna fix it so I'm gonna go back into paradise and I'm gonna take obviously that shade that there and I'm gonna take that on a spectrum a17 and it's like an eyebrow brush it's like an angled brush and we're just gonna where the outer, because this bit's fine, so we're just going to draw it back in. Go through and just take in that shade throughout the whole bit as well, just to really define it, because obviously we've done this bit, so we want it to match the outer V as well. I know I've put the colour on that bit, but I can I can just see the huge difference. So I'm going to take a cotton round and the micellar water, not cotton round, a cotton bud, and we're going to actually remove that. So I'm going to be very, very careful here. So obviously I've moved a bit of the concealer. So I'm just going to pack that back on first. And now we're going to go ahead and add that blue back in. Um, obviously it might not be the same, but gonna have to make it work so taking that spectrum a17 and the shade was paradise yeah paradise there we go that's so much better now um obviously we all make mistakes in makeup and you know i'm showing you how to fix it if it, it was ever sort of needed and i'm just gonna take a little bit of was it daydream that first like little shade that we took and just sort of put that through the front just so it sort of meshes with the other lot so now we're fully done like everything's even everything's good and now what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to clean the brush in the color switch so it's like this little tin and it takes the color off a brush and we're going to go into a different shade and i'm going to obviously take that a17 from Spectrum and we're going to take from the palette we're going to take Riviere and it's a metallic but I feel like we can make it work it's this dark blue um, I feel like another good palette I was going to use it is the Be Perfect Stacey Marie Carnival Extra Large Pro palette um, just because it's got quite a few more mattes in there obviously this is like a nice mixture but it has more matte blues but hopefully we can make this work so I'm just going to take that along the line as well. I'm actually going to mix it in with a bit of... Oh, do I dare? I'm going to take the black in the palette because I want this to be quite dark. So I've dipped into Riviere, dipping into the black and then dipping back into Riviere. And I'm going to go ahead and do it this way. I hope this works and just doesn't come off like black. I'm going to take a Real Techniques fine liner brush just to really get in the inner corner. Now we're just going to buff that back out with the Crown Brush C431. And then we're just going to take a mixture of Paradise and Daydream on the Crown Brush C441 and just run that back through the top. Then I'm just going to set the lid. So I'm going to take White Lies, which is obviously the white in the palette. And I'm going to take that on E Spectrum A16. I'm really going to pack that on top. 
Okay, so now that all of that is finally on, I'm gonna take the NYX glitter primer and I'm also gonna take this glitter. So this is by Glitter Chelsea and Abby. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like pat a little bit on and then sort of disperse it, but keep it quite in the center, leaving this and well, the inner and the outer corner free. Um, Cause I want sort of like a scattered look rather than like just whacked on loads of glitter. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. So I'm gonna take the NYX glitter primer on the Spectrum A16 which is that same brush we used for the um, white. So then we have this. Obviously, I need to clean up some of the mess that's going on and stuff, but I'll do that off camera. So I'm going to apply lashes and mascara as well. So these are the Unicorn Lashes in Cherry Top. These are like my all-time favourite lash. Uh, they're just so beautiful, the way they sit, the way they go on. Everything about them I love. They are from Unicorn. The box is like over there somewhere. Um, but yeah, I love these lashes. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that off camera, obviously apply mascara as well. Come back, we'll do the base and finish off the eyes as well. Okay, so half my foundation is on because I didn't realise that I wasn't recording. But anyway, lashes first because I still feel like they're quite long. Um, I should, I could probably cut off another little bit. These come like super long by the way, like I literally cut off like four chunks just to get to fit like this. Uh, so if you're looking for something to like fit your eye shape, honestly, try them out. Obviously, I don't take mine fully in um, just because I hate how they like stick in. Um, especially like in the inner corners, they always dig you. So I always just take it a little bit further out. Um, but for primer, I literally used the Nymph and Fab Rose Gold Essence. Took it on a brush and went doop doop doop. And then I just went like this all over the face. And then for foundation, I'm going to go into the Beauty Blender foundation. So this is obviously Bounce and it is in the shade 1.30. And I was saying it does get, obviously, it was clean, it's just I've used it. It does get like gunky in this little bit here, which is not ideal. Taking it on a Beauty Blender and literally just pouncing it into the skin. I do like the fact that it comes on a little palette though and it's like, it's got a lock button which is really, really nice. Um, yeah, I just, it's actually such a nice foundation. Like I know there was a lot of shit when they, cause I remember when they were like, oh yeah, it's like 50 shades or something. And everyone was like, yeah, 50 shades is so exciting. And like all of them, well actually no, it wasn't 50 shades, it was like 30 shades or something. It was, it was like a good amount. And they were all like light. There was like literally like too dark if you were lucky. And I, I remember, oh my god, the amount of shit they got for it. And two right so, like foundation companies know better now. And I, I honestly think companies do it just for like, is it the clout? Is that what they say? Like, I honestly think they just do it just so everyone gets rolled up about it. Everyone's going to the page. Everyone's talking about it. And then all of a sudden they'll be like, oh, we, 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 like, we listened to you. And now we're bringing out like an extra 30 shades, which they did do in the end like they rang out like I think maybe another 20 shades and they were all like dark like medium to dark anyway and I honestly think people I really do believe that companies just do it just for like like if they say like there's no such thing as bad publicity and I honestly believe that that is true like I feel like companies just do it literally just just for the talk about I think is the clout the right word I actually don't know okay google what does clout mean Saying that right. Here's the definition of clout. Informal. A heavy blow with the hand or a hard object. Okay, no, this is not what I'm talking about. Maybe I actually don't know what I'm talking about, but I, you know what I mean? Like when I say like, they do it for the publicity, like the talk. So it is obviously more warm. I prefer a warmer foundation, even though I am probably I wouldn't say I'm pink, I, my face is quite pink because of the redness, but I'd say I'm more like neutral. Um, with, but I still don't like pink undertones in stuff. I only like it in my concealer. Like if I pick up a concealer, I usually pick something with a neutral undertone just to balance me out when I do wear something warm. Um, yeah, otherwise, I don't, I, yeah, I try to avoid like neutral, I try to avoid like warm concealers just so I don't look too warm because obviously my complexion is not warm um but it just looks so much better like when I wear pink I like I feel like I look grey like it's so strange then for concealer today I'm going to take the revolution conceal and hydrate so this is in the shade c1 
and it's the hydrate one, not the conceal and define one. Uh, I do, I did like it, but it did give me what well, I think it was giving me like little milliers under my eyes. And if you understand, like milliers, they cannot be picked. Like they have, you have to get like a needle and like basically dig it through and like pull it out. They're like little white pearls almost. And so like they're not easy to get rid of. And then if not, you have to like, if you don't want to do it that way, obviously you don't have to. Uh, you can like um, exfoliate and they'll sort of go away over time. But they take time to go away. And I'm not even joking. It's like one of the most frustrating things. Like I hate having milliers. And it's not easy to like exfoliate near your eye either. Like you're gonna get it in your eye. So yeah, I've just taken it on the eyes. What's this? Forehead, nose, chin. Oh, I didn't do Cupid's bow. Well, I don't want anything on the Cupid's bow. So I'm gonna let that dry before we go ahead and blend it out. So I'm just gonna contour a little bit. So I'm gonna take the Nip and Fab. So this is the Fix Stick definition so this is in medium sculpt and it just looks like so so obviously you can go ahead and take it but it's a little bit too thick so i'm just going to take it on the spectrum a18 so i'm just going to take that around the forehead and the cheeks we'll take a little bit on the um jawline as well why not so i'm just going to blend out the contour so i'm going to take the spectrum a no god a BO5. Now I'm just going to blend out the concealer. So I'm going to take the Hourglass Seamless Concealer Brush. I actually don't know what it's called. There's no name on it. It literally just says Hourglass. But they only have one that looks like this. Just going to take that Spectrum BO5 and just sort of buff out the edges just so it looks a lot more smoother and sort of just because it's got like a little bit of contour in it, it just sort of meshes in with the face so for powder i'm going to take the beauty bakery powder so this is the flower setting powder in translucent and i'm going to take it on the blender full so this is the mini i've already loaded it up so i'm just gonna make sure it's all nice and blended so i'm just taking the hourglass brush and then just take the blender full and just pat that on it's easier with my other hand but so I'm just going to repeat that so I'll do the same with the other eye and then I'm going to take it just down the t-zone as well just going to spray a little bit of the revolution hyaluronic hydrating essence spray I'm nearly like it's running low <laughs> the thing is I'm putting it on I'm literally going nowhere I'm literally in I'm just in my living room in my bedroom doing nothing but admiring this makeup look so for bronzer, I'm going to take the Pure. So this is Bronzing Act. So this is a matte bronzer and it's just in the shade Light. It looks like so. It smells like chocolate. I've got half of that on my nose because I was probably sniffing it. This smells better than the Butter Bronzer. The Butter Bronzer just smells like garbage. I'm just going to say it smells literally like self tanner I'm just going to bronze up the face. I'm taking down a Spectrum CO7, by the way. So for highlighter, I think I'm going to take like a hit of the... So this is the Berry and Merry Luminizer, and yeah, I think I'm gonna take like a hit of this first, and then add like a little bit of the blue just like on top, um, just because I do prefer something like this over that blue highlighter. But because I feel like it went with the eyes, that's why I'm using it. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna take like a hit of this. God, this is so good. Like people just stop talking about this. And she's like, wow, this is such a good highlighter. And I'm pretty sure like they're doing 50% off at the minute. Now I'm going to take a hit of the KBD one. So that blue shade. And just sort of, just put it like, right on top. I'm not taking it fully way back. Then on the Spectrum A13, I'm just going to pop a little bit of that on the inner corners. Then for blush, I'm going to take the Nip and Fab Basic Beach Palette and I'm going to take Coral Queen, yes, which is this nice peachy shade up front. I'm going to take that Honey Spectrum A05. I'm just going to flush up the cheeks. Then I'm going to take a bit more of the Revolution Essence Spray and then 
I'm just gonna take some Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Oh yeah. I've got another can of this already. I remember I bought it and I used like one day and I was just like, it was 11 pound. I was like, man, I might as well just buy another one. <laughs> and I'm glad I did that because it is really nice. I love how a cut crease looks with no lower lash line. Like a bare lower lash line, just a bit of mascara. I feel like it's beautiful. I feel like we've got to take saying. So I'm going to go back into obviously the Beauty Bay palette. I'm going to take Riviere, which was that uh, dark metallic blue. I'm just going to take that on the Spectrum A17. And we're going to hit the lower lash line. So I'm going to keep it quite close. Oh, I've got a shadow on my eye. Literally on my eye. I do apologise. I know you can't really see much of this, but I have to be in the mirror to see it. And I'm just going to buff it out with the Crown Brush C4 free one. Then I'm just going to take a hit of Paradise and Daydream on the Crown Brush C4 for one and just go underneath it as well. Then just finish it off with some obviously lower lash mascara. So this is the KVD Go Big or Go Home. Obviously I've stated throughout the whole video, you know, she no longer owns it. And this is actually quite a nice mascara. Uh, you won't see anything because my face needs to be in the mirror. Hmm. What lip should we do? A bold colour? A nude. <laughs> so I'm going to take the Spectrum. So this is the Zodiac lipstick and this is in the shade Element. And I've just done a whole video like dedicated to the whole collection. And uh, yeah, I'll link that if you want to see it. Yep. That's the one. And now I'm going to take the Jouer Lip Topper in a Frostbite. And I feel like this could work because like the eyes it kind of matches it a little we'll see what it looks like on top okay so this is the completed look i love how it turned out i think it's super beautiful i i hardly ever use blue and i just when i do like i forget how much i love blue like blue is my favorite color and oh i just love how it turned out yeah so hopefully you enjoyed the video I Still a bad bitch.